Yes, people, so in this video, it's gonna be a full day in the life of myself, which is an online coach, content creator, and a gym rat. But I'm trying to make this video as least generic as possible. There's so many bullshit like all day in the life videos, which is like get up at 3 a.m., go for like a 20 mile run, and then travel to like five different countries. But nah, for this one, this is the routine that I've used for probably a good like year, year and a half or so. And to make it a little bit more interesting and unique, I'm gonna include all of the habits that I use that help to like transform my mindset. And yeah, just general tips and tricks on how you can improve your routine. But you're probably wondering, like it's so dark in my kitchen. Surely this isn't the morning, like surely you're not starting now. And you're right, this is currently late at night. So it's 11 p.m., got my PJs on of course, the great PJs there. Um, but yeah, what I like to do is just get ready the night before. So I get prepped, get all my stuff ready, and yeah, I'll show you exactly what I do and why I do it. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, I'll start by filling up two liters of water so that's ready for the morning. And then I'll get my outfit organized so that I can just get up and out of my room quickly rather than scrambling around and trying to find my clothes. By my bed, I'll have aftershave, deodorant, vitamins, and water so that everything's just easy to access. I'll usually get to sleep around 11 p.m. and then wake up the following day at 7 a.m. Are you too tired? You just don't have the energy? You don't have enough time? I don't care! So, after that alarm's all set, I can catch up with some sleep. Now, the reason that I set this up all the night before is because I'm not typically a morning's person. So, if I can have everything organised and pre-ready when I wake up, then I'm already starting the day on a dub and building good momentum. Whereas, if I wake up in like a messy room with everything scattered everywhere, then it's most likely to be a crap day. In terms of my morning supplements, I use multivitamins from Legion Athletics. This covers everything that I need and it just boosts my overall health as well. This pot has honestly lasted me forever and it's a great value for money. So, if you want 20% off Legion supplements, you can click the link in my description and use code Beckles at the checkout. Yes people, so literally just woken up now, gonna start the day by having about a litre, two litres of water. This just helps to like flush out all the toxins. And we're also gonna make this vitamin C drink, which is like super refreshing, so let's make it. to get a morning physique check in of course and considering there's no pump or anything I thought my physique was actually looking pretty decent for once cool so now that's all the vitamins and the water taken care of we can head downstairs make some breakfast god I'm looking hella pale at the moment but yeah, this is what happens when you're like living in the UK during the winter. Well, for me anyway, I'm supposed to be mixed race, but I'm looking pasty. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll head downstairs anyway. But now, hold up, hold up, hold up. This was me ages ago, so obviously, this is what I mean by white by winter. Blonde hair, pretty much white skin, like, this is exactly why, like, I need to get the vitamins in. And you guys have been asking for time, like what's the secret, like how to, uh, how do you get in shape? And it's literally right there. You just gotta turn black and then your genetics will just triple, your gains will triple, that's it. <laughs> I also just clocked that I released the other secret, so the reason why I got my dreads, everyone thinks it's for style. But no, if you look back here, that's a mega mind for it, so that's the reason why we gotta get the dreads. <laughs> but yeah, I literally need to get a tan ASAP because my skin's completely gone. Uh, one more shade difference and I probably lost the anger. I've lost all of my ethnicity, everything. So at the moment I'm just hanging on by a thread. I've got the dreads to keep me in check, but yeah, I need to get to like my bear or something ASAP. Boom. 
With this protein porridge, I'm using French vanilla from Legion Athletics, and the flavor is actually banging. Vanilla works well with literally everything. As you can probably tell, I was running pretty low on supplies, so I only had this beaten up banana left. Usually I include chocolate sprinkles as well, but unfortunately I was out of that too, so that was very peak. After finishing up on my editing, I then headed to Audi just to get a little protein shop done. These protein snacks are so light and great to have whilst I'm working or just have on my little low on protein for the day. Speaking of which, I actually filmed some content for my Instagram and TikTok. In this case, it was a high protein French toast recipe. It's a banger of a recipe. So if you're trying to gain weight or you have a low appetite, this is a great option. After all of the filming, I then drove to town to get Nando's with my dad. It had been a minute since I was back home, so it was nice to grab a meal. I started off my order with halloumi sticks, the best Nando starter of course, and then for the main, I just went with chicken thighs, rice, and peri chips. No lemon and herb shit around here though, had to get the hot spice, come on. After heading back home, I balanced out the meal with some fruit and yogurt, and did a little bit of uni work. I would normally have a few uni lectures to go to, but today was a weekend, so I just got on with a few assignments instead. With a high calorie shake like this, I like to drink half during the day and then half later at night, just so my body can properly digest it and I'm not on the toilet for hours. Before my gym session, I checked in with a few of my online coaching clients and adjusted some of the meals. One of my clients had a really busy work schedule, so I adjusted around that and made sure that his meals were quick and simple to make whilst also tasting good. All of my coaching is based completely around the client's lifestyle and preferences and includes a tailored training and nutrition plan, weekly one-to-one -one check ins visual tracking of progress and lots more. So if you're looking to get into shape, you can apply via the first link in the description. After the the check-ins were all done, I recorded the voiceover for the French Toast video and filmed some more content for my YouTube channel, which of course you're subscribed to by now, right? Moving on to the last meal before the gym. This is a mint omelet that has over 800 calories and 60 grams of protein. So for this recipe, you'll need to chop up fresh parsley, grate 60 grams of cheese, and then crack four eggs into a bowl. Again, I got shafted a little bit as there are only two eggs left in the house. But anyways, whisk that all up so it's ready. You also need 100 grams of beef mince and half a diced red onion. Go ahead and heat up some oil in the pan and then fry the mince. Add in the red onion, let that cook a little, and then season it with paprika, pepper, and salt. Ah, and yeah, this is where the low supplies cost me. The two eggs failed me, and I was just left with a bowl of mince and eggs rather than an omelet. So yeah, don't make my mistake, guys. I tried my best to resurrect it with some ketchup, peri mayo and avocado but to be honest surprisingly it actually tasted pretty good of course i would have it with four eggs if you can but yeah this actually tastes nice and i wasn't too full for my gym session either so it might have worked out pretty well to let the food sit a little i got into some analytics work as it's the end of the week so i just broke down my social media content did some research and looked for ways that it could be improved as there's always room for improvement Yo, so literally just pulled up to the gym now. It's completely ghost town, like literally. Look at that, yeah. I think there's like one guy in there at the moment. people that pretty much wraps up the whole day so obviously we just finished the workout now i'm gonna just finish the remainder of this shake 
got about half left because I drank half like during the day and then obviously, obviously the creatine as well. This is currently flavoured so it is the strawberry and lemon, if you can see that, the strawberry and lemon creatine, pretty good. My last plug of the day, Legion Athletics, Code Beckles, 20% off, you know what to do. And yeah, obviously apart from the Nando's and the Audi shop, everything else, that's pretty much my basic routine that I've been doing like every single day. And yeah, I hope you guys have liked this video. It took way longer than I thought it was gonna take, but I hope you enjoy. Obviously drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe. And until next time,